Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat again. This is truly going to be a craft with me kind of thing, so if you have something that you're working on, go ahead and get it out because um, I may be quiet <laughs> sometimes because when I am working, I uh, tend to be pretty quiet when I'm thinking. So, you know, I'll try to do some chit chat and stuff like that, but I'm just working on this that I showed you guys yesterday. I haven't had a chance to do anything else to it, so it's just all nice and dry, and you can hear that it... Um, gets fairly stiff so it's it's really kind of a cool little book that it makes and I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do I have kind of a few ideas but um, I just don't know exactly what I want to do yet so I have cut a few things I think what I want to do is start with the front so I'm not going to do that right now I got this little thing at the dollar store it's just glass and I thought it would be awesome for inking on you know because you could set it on there in ink and then you know just wipe it off and a lot of people already have the whole glass boards but mine isn't glass anyway so if you're looking for anything like that the I found it at the dollar store in our area that doesn't mean it'll be in everybody's area but uh, yeah they had them so that was cool um so I'm just going to be kind of paper piecing, you know, kind of thinking about what I want to put on this with her. And um, what I think I'm going to do, I was going to do a tag or a pocket up and down and see I already cut my fabric. So I'm a little bit bummed about that because I changed my mind. <laughs> because I'm just thinking um, with the way her little skirt is, if it's up and down, it's going to be constantly like sticking and stuff. I just, I just think it might be better if I turn it this way and do kind of a big side pocket and this one might be a little too big I think I'm gonna have to cut off a teeny bit over here just so that it'll fit without like hanging off the side so I think I'll do that to start with hope you're all having a great day it's been kind of stressful for me and I don't need to go in any detail but so I'm kind of looking forward to just relaxing a little bit doing this so that's what I'm gonna do I don't know what it is sometimes it just feels like um, if only there was another me that would be awesome because I can't seem to get all the things done I need to get done and want to get done and I don't know I'm easily stressed though so it's not like um, big news oh I know what else I was gonna do I was gonna cut it to look like a tag so I've just got my little template that I use all the time to snip this here We have had, again today, just the craziest weather, and I know I've been talking about this a lot lately, but it's like it can't decide. I know in this, when it starts getting near spring, it does do this. It's not like this is really anything new, but one minute snowing. It's pretty much snowed the entire day here, but um, last week it was up in the 40s, so I think it just, like the ground and everything, got warm enough that uh, it's not it's not sticking very much. In the morning... You know, of course, when we have to drive to work and school and all those things, it's a mess. But um, then by afternoon, everything's pretty much melted off, which that's super nice because then I don't have to do a ton of shoveling, which is definitely not my favorite thing to do. But I know there's lots of places I can't complain because there are places that are just getting buried. I know. I hear uh, Gail Augustinelli a lot of times talks about you know, her husband's out shoveling snow again or whatever. And I feel bad because we've been fortunate this year, but we, we have had our years as well. That is one thing after growing up in the mountains and then, you know, we're kind of up north. I could start to never have snow again and be good with that. <laughs> I know we need it for the moisture, but I'd prefer to have some rain and that's it. And the problem is, I guess you get too much rain, like Seattle and stuff like that. I don't think I could do that all the time either. I can't do that dreary, dark thing all the time. Because where I grew up, it would snow, but then as the day went on, it would be blue skies and beautiful in the mountains. So I think I just, that's what I like, is the blue sky. So yeah, this is made out of um, collage paper that I did.
all blues and greens and kind of cream and that type thing. I did this this time because I ran out of those index, you know, like pages in that book that I was using. And um, so I did this on manila folders because, you know, if you get them at the dollar store, it, you know, that's a pretty good deal. So that's what I've been doing my collages on. And the other cool part about that is I can back it if I want to do something different on the back. But I really like the look of the manila, especially when you ink it. It just has that really vintagey look I think so I like that a lot less work right I do like it on doing it on those like index pages and stuff though because that's one of those things kind of like the sewing patterns what do you do with it otherwise Okay, so I know I'm going to put her on. I'm just not sure what else. And she is a little bit tall, but I just won't glue her hat all the way down. I'll leave it open a little so that I can still put a string or something through there. So what I'm thinking, let's see. I don't want another piece of that. I've got some other little things that I've been thinking about using. I just got some stuff like this that's already collaged and I thought I might do some tearing to it and stuff but I'm trying to figure out what part I might want. This might be pretty because it's got these flowers and these birds. So maybe we'll just do a bit of this. This paper is kind of strange. I'll show you one of them. Uh, paper designer and I just got a few different ones. On Amazon just because I was looking for just mostly like floral pattern and stuff like that and this is paper pack from Eno greeting and you can see it's from China but um, it is like sort of fibery it's hard to rip it and I don't know if that's just the process you know different papers from different places feel different and act different I know that sounds kind of crazy because you're like papers paper but um, I noticed when I got some stuff from my friend Allie <clears throat> in England, her paper just felt super smooth and soft. Um, it just felt different to me for whatever reason. Maybe I'm just crazy, but I've heard other people say that, so I don't think it's just me. But um, so I think that there is a difference just maybe in the processing or something that changes the texture and the feel of the paper if you know anything about that. I don't really want to cover some of this stuff up. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. I mean, I don't have to put anything on there, I guess. Get my old paper junk and see if there's anything I like. I could use a piece of Edith Holden, just a little bit of it, just for some, I just kind of, you know, want that interest over there. So maybe if I just do a little. And I got these, I have these little like flower things. thought maybe something like that might be cool. Is there any with more? I kind of like that one. This one, this big one just has a lot of pink, so I'm not sure that I want that one. I just have stuff spread all over my table. All right, I think I'm gonna do that. And then maybe just like some lace or something. Sorry, I told you guys this was probably going to be painful for you. <laughs> I just, you know, I, it takes me a while to decide. It's like I get in a zone and I can't. That's just kind of how I do it. If I plan it all out and then I come on and just do exactly what I had planned, that's usually what I try to do. But um, I just haven't had time. Like I said, things have just been crazy. And I wanted to work on this, and I figured, you know, why not just do a craft with me, and then you can work on what you want to work on. All right, so I think I'm going to put this down here. Is that going to be in the way of her little... Because I'm going to have to scoot her over so her wing's not hanging off.
maybe I want it on the other side. I don't know what difference that's going to make, but you know, you got to try all these things. I really like this hydrangea over here, I think is what my issue is. So maybe if I scoot her like that. Yeah, I think I like that better. All right. Hope I'm not making anybody crazy. I did ink some of this stuff. I just didn't get it all done. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put those down. And I am putting my glue upside down. <laughs> I've had subscribers tell me to keep it upside down because then, you know, it keeps the glue to this end. But, and I really do try to do that. I keep it upside down when I store it, like when I'm done and I put everything away, which I hardly ever put every, everything away. But um, when I do, I put away my glue upside down so it's ready to go but when I'm working sometimes I don't those are the things I don't really think about because I kind of get like I said in a zone or something and I it's hard for me to worry about that kind of stuff I guess I'm going to go this weekend again with my daughter to work on her quilt. Very proud of her. She's doing such a good job on it. She's doing really good in school this year. She usually does very well, but I mean, she's getting like straight A's and she's taking um, a bunch of AP classes and getting college credit and stuff. So that's kind of a big thing. My son's doing awesome too. He's getting all A's and it's his first year in high school, which will benefit him later. That's what my daughter keeps telling him. Make sure you get all A's because otherwise your GPA, you know, will go down. She wanted to be top 10 in her class. And if she keeps up this year and next year, she might be able to get there. But um, it's just, you know, it's very competitive. You know, there a lot of these kids are super bright, which is awesome. So yeah, she keeps telling him, make sure you get A's your freshman year, because that way, you know, you'll be in the top 10. Alright, so I think that's going to work. I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to, I need to figure out, kind of want to put something else on here. I just don't know what. I have that piece of fabric that I'm going to put here. I kind of, I'm not crazy about this. I don't, I like the dress and the Vogue patterns thing and all that, but I kind of feel like I want something else, but I don't want necessarily a picture. And of course, that's the other side. That might not be bad. Maybe I'll do that. And now it's ripped. I think it'll work. And then maybe a little more writing of some kind. I have this piece that's like, I don't know, I don't know. Because I still want it to be interesting, like even if the tag's not in there. That might be kind of cool. My last little um, pocket that I made, the one I showed you guys, got shipped off to New York. I thought that was kind of cool. My daughter and I went to New York. It's, gosh, it's almost been like three years now. Um, talk about fish out of water. We were. <laughs> yeah.
yeah, that was mind-boggling to me. <clears throat> but yeah, I thought that was kind of cool that somebody from New York ordered that. It's very nice. She, um, my daughter plays cello, and so we went with her orchestra and they played there and we got to see Phantom of the Opera and just, it was super cool. Now we gotta take my son somewhere. I don't know where, but he's in band, but he's not in orchestra. This, I kind of need to tear it a little bit because it's too square. And maybe put another little something under it. I'm just gonna figure out what. Ooh, I think I know. Maybe some like sewing tissue would be good. Maybe I'll leave one square side because I'm afraid if I keep ripping, it's just gonna, um, there's not gonna be anything left. thing about sewing tissue is you can see through it but it gives that kind of vintagey look because this um, particular one was not sorry this one um, wasn't as yellowed as the last one that I did it was just an older one so see I could I kind of just want it. I don't want it perfect. I think I'll do that and I'll cut it once I get it on there. I think I'm just going to use a glue stick. I thought about decoupage, but um, I don't want to, I kind of want the texture to stay the same. In my big, my big one. thing about this is I rip it all the time because it's so thin. It's so easy to rip. That's probably why it's better to decoupage it, but so what have you guys been making lately? I like to know I like to hear what everybody's doing. Everybody comes up with the coolest stuff. <clears throat> it always amazes me, you know, sometimes I think, I cannot think of anything else. There are no more ideas for this project. And then <clears throat> you see somebody do something that's like, wow, why didn't I think of that? It's funny. How you think it's all been done before. That helps muddle that a little bit. Um, I mean, it's not that I don't like the Vogue pattern part or anything. It's just that I think it's kind of cool to make it not so obvious what it is. I think that will stick down fine because it's sticking to everything. Turn that off. Probably should have used my other scissors. These are my one good pair of fussy cutting ones, and I'm using them to cut glue. So it's great, great plan. These are my ones that I've already mucked up. Yeah, so that um, when we went and worked on my daughter's quilt, well, she worked on it. I pretty much watched and just made sure that none of her little squares got turned up and stuff. But I don't know what the machine's called, but it's giant. <clears throat> it's at our local uh, quilt shop. 
and um, she's doing this through 4-H and so they let her uh, go in there and use the machine and showed her how to do it and all that and uh, she it's amazing because there's like a laser that follow you know you follow the design but you have to move your hands along with it and stuff and um, it's just giant and she was pretty intimidated at first which I don't blame her because that thing it was serious but it was so cool how it worked and it worked great <coughs> so hopefully Saturday we'll be able to or she'll be able to get that finished <coughs> I don't think I need anything well I'll ink it a little bit that's already pretty yellow that paper it's another piece out of that um, work basket I think it's called I think that tissue will stick for a long time because it's so thin and with the glue stick. I'm not a huge fan of glue stick. I mean I like them. They definitely serve a purpose but um, as far as sticking permanently they're not really great for that in my opinion. I've noticed that cards and stuff that I made years ago if there's any you know like for my husband or whatever <clears throat> and they're still around a lot of times they've fallen apart because I used glue stick see I just set my glue down <laughs> best laid plans I'm gonna scoot it up actually I was going down but That'll just give that a little more background. And then I'm looking at this and it needs something. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use my Tim Holtz. What's this one called? Mm. Ledger script. Pasha's eyeballing me, so he could be up here any minute. Which, if he does come, I will have to move a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> he usually comes at some point if I'm working. He sits with me, watches for a while. I just want something out over here, I think. Yeah, I like that better. Alright, do I want more? Let's do this little area up here just a touch this one and it doesn't have to be perfect I just want a little something something there <clears throat> get a baby wipe I actually remember finally yesterday to get some more it's like you have them for a while and then they run out and you're just you just forget you don't forget when you have babies though <laughs> That's a whole nother reason, right? Okay. This is going to go there. But we're going to put this as just a little tuck spot for it to go into. So, and I want that um, eyelash to hang down. So I'm just going to go on two sides. I've just got some jazz music playing. I just wanted something in the background in case I was quiet, quiet. And I do put quite a bit on there because it is fabric. And I also have used Fabri-Tac. I just didn't get it out. So this works really well. I've never had any problems with this sticking. So I'm not worried about it not working or something. And this is again that snippet roll from Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts, and she also has an Etsy store if you're interested in those. If you're like I am and you don't really sew, I just, I just don't. 
I never really learned to, so I do some paper stuff, but that's about it. And I just want that to really hold, so I'm going to do that for a minute. <clears throat> and this one's about dry, so we'll see what that looks like when that gets all the way dry. And then I made um, a little button cluster again, and this is the collage paper that I used. <clears throat> I can tell you that. What are you doing? Sorry. Come up here. <clears throat> He's making me nervous. Oh, let's turn this one into a tag. Yeah, he's going to end up up here. There's no stopping him once he decides he's going to do that. So I just need to make a little spot. Sorry. He's got a stuffed up nose. All right, here he comes. <laughs> Go sit over there. You got to sit down right there, buddy. <laughs> he's like, I didn't get to do that my way. I like to do it my way, huh? Yeah. I'm going to turn this into a tag, too. Are you just going to sit and watch, Pasha? I put a picture of him on Instagram. <laughs> He's laying on his back with his big fluffy tummy, huh, hanging out. He's a mess right now. I think he's got, like, a little bit of a cold. Might have to end up taking him in, but I was hoping maybe keep his face clean and I um, give him a little bit of Pro Shield, <laughs> just some essential oils to try to help him. It really does seem to help. I know that sounds crazy, but it kind of keeps his eyes clean too. I don't put it on his face. I put just a little teeny bit in his mouth. Not that he loves that necessarily, but um, it definitely helps with his eyes when they get goopy. was sleeping in my closet, so I didn't think he was going to come up today, but here he is watching me, her papa. Kids just love him. My son always wants to maul him, and he really does not like my son. And I keep telling him the reason he doesn't like you is because you're always mugging on him. He's real cute. He's hard not to mug. But I just let him do his thing, and he always comes to me and wants to be petted. But he doesn't really go to anybody else. And my kids always ask why, and I'm like, because I feed him. He's no dummy. wiped out right now because you just got up all right I should be able to open this now safely I just don't want to lose that piece of fabric I won't stick anything in there yet we'll look at that one in a minute all right so now I just have this blank area and what I kind of had in mind for that sorry I keep bumping that tripod <clears throat> If I can keep the little eyelashes out, is I'm going to put this here, and then I have kind of a little corner pocket thing I'm going to put here, and then um, I have a little fabric cluster from Denise. This one's pretty flat, so I thought it would be okay inside. It won't add too, too much bulk. It'll add a little, but I don't think it's a big, too big a deal. <coughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do on the back yet. I haven't gotten that far. These things kind of take me a while. Like, I see people make like seven journals in three days and stuff like that. I don't know how they do that. I mean, sometimes I do things semi-fast, but man, I cannot get that stuff together that fast. <clears throat> how they do it. 
And I know, like Gail has said, if you do them all at the same time and you make them all fairly similar, you know. But I, it still is just a real thinking process for me. I guess maybe if I... <clears throat> I've been crafting forever, but... I guess we just all have our own pace at these things. I'm just going to do two sides because this is just going to be a corner tack. Hey Pasha, what are you doing? You're just looking at me. Huh. Need your eyes cleaned. That's an interesting thing to do, is give him a bath. <laughs> Which I don't have to do every time I clean his eyes, but you know what I mean? It's the... Uh, it is quite the process. I just want to yellow this a tiny bit. Alright. Some glue. Yeah, this one's nice and kind of flat. It has lots of cute little fabrics in it. It just kind of went. Which is awesome. The only thing you have to be careful with with fabric and glue is um, sometimes the fabric soaks up the glue and then it just falls off. So <clears throat> just gotta watch for that. Are you laying? Oh no. I was like, are you laying on top of my. <laughs> and I made another little doll, which I kind of showed you guys yesterday. And I think she's gonna go on this tag. I think I want this one here. Mm, I also have this one. I kind of like her on this though. She can kind of go on a little or tag because she's so tiny. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I have, I made other tags so I will be like sticking them in and some other ephemera. But for now, let's work on this tag while that dries. Alright. See here, what do I want to do? What should I do, Pasha? I kind of feel like I need some blue on this one. I have this that I kind of collaged a little bit. I don't know if I want a piece of that. Hmm. I feel like I need to ink up there a little bit more. <clears throat> it's like my hole punch is a different size than these holes in these tags. Well, I'm gonna have to come out and get them on straight either is the other dilemma. So let's see. This. I don't know if I like that. Um, let's see. Have a teacup. Is she just sitting there purring? Hmm? No. Nope, 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 nope. I kind of want some blue paper. I'm going to get out my blue scraps. I keep my scraps in bags by color. So, for example, this is my blue bag. Um, that just seems to work for me. kind of like that. Uh, polka dots. I know everybody's got their own system for that. And then I do have one whole bag that's just kind of, I just call it my vintage scraps. And it just has all kinds of stuff, but it's more um, like the vintage theme or whatever. So, um, that's what I like to use most. And that's what I have the most scraps of. I really just kind of like those polka dots. I think those are good. I have these little mushrooms, but that's not really the right color blue. I really like the color in that polka dot. So let's just use the polka dot. Let's make it easy on ourselves. So let's see. Cover up. I just want a little something for the color. So maybe I'll go across the bottom. I don't think it's long enough this way. Mm, that would probably work actually. I 
I know the whole uh, tag is made out of scraps and then I end up putting scraps on top. <laughs> I guess that doesn't really make sense, but it's great to use scraps <clears throat> however possible. Hmm. Need something else. Ooh, I know. How about, I have this darker blue lace, use a piece of that, hmm, let's see, Don't ask me how I come up with some of this. I mean, not that this is hard to come up with. Everybody does this kind of thing. I'm just saying um, these crazy, I get looking at those crazy little dolls sometimes and think, I don't know, I'm a little crazy. <clears throat> but I just love them. And I've always kind of wanted to do my own paper dolls and stuff. I just love, I just love that. See, this is out of that work basket. Old girdle. <laughs> But it, the pages are great because they're so, um, like, yellowed, you know? Another thing that might be cool is this stuff because it's kind of super. I like just the ends of the page, too, like, um, that you tear off. Like stuff like this, I really like. I could stamp like a word or something on there. That'd be kind of cool. I like this um, stamp that I have. It says, when this you see, remember me. I just think that's kind of cool. And I know the whole thing's not going to fit on there. But um, I'm not really worried about that. Because I just, I just want, if I get some of it, good. Ooh, it did all fit. Barely, but it did. <clears throat> that's one of my favorite stamps. I just think it's that's fun. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is ink this. just want this and I like to do something I'll show you guys I love that staple right there so let's see here see now because I laid it on its side it won't come down as easily because I quit putting it upside down <laughs> that's what I do And then I kind of like to just crunch it a little, like squish it together. Oops, not all of it in one spot though. While the glue's a little bit wet still. Like right there, I can really kind of almost fold it even, like it's doing. Just adds texture and I'm leaving that staple because that was cool. The staples gone. It's the holes. <laughs> the staple holes. I'm just gonna squeeze that a little bit too. Let's see, so it kind of like folds it all. Can you see that texture of it? Okay, and then I think I'll take a little piece of that. This end is too straight. I'm just going to kind of 
put that down here because when I put her onto it, like, see, you're not going to see a lot of that staple anyway, but let's see what we can do now. All right, and then it's going to need a little something. I just don't want anything very thick. Oh, I guess, yeah, she can go up a little bit more. Oh, she's still going to end up color covering the staple. <laughs> Let me see what I got that I could put on there. I have this crazy container full of all kinds of stuff, just random stuff. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing the thing I need. You know, I had like this whole little thing of rhinestones at one point. I have no idea what I've done with that. Do you hate it when you do that? I mean, I usually try to keep all my little stuff together so that I don't do that, but, um, yeah, apparently, I don't know what that is, and I don't want anything very thick on here, so I'm trying to think. Ooh, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to stitch down there. Okay, so I'm going to turn you guys off for just a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, hi, I'm back. So I just stitched that uh, lace on there, and I think that helped a little bit. So I'm just going to hook her on now. I like to put quite a bit on the bottoms, just because when they're going in and out of pockets and whatever, <clears throat> I want to make sure that, you know, that bottom part is sticking down. And then I leave a little bit of their head up, and then their wings, so that, you know, you can if you want to curl them a little bit. Although I don't know if anybody else would make these or not, but I don't know, they're just kind of fun. <coughs> I get these goofy notions in my head, I'm telling you. so if you go like that then they curl up a little bit and I like it when their he head's a little loose too because then like the hat you know just gives it more uh, dimension all right so I can move these things since I didn't use those and I haven't decided on ribbons or any of that stuff yet but this will be something like this and then I will be putting other things in because I always do, like, you know, sticking more tags in or whatever. More ephemera, that kind of thing. All right, so the other page that I'm going to do, I wanted to do kind of like a little, um, oops, this was the little button cluster that I did. Uh, I want a pocket over here so you can put something in and out over on that side. So let's see how I want to do this. I kind of wanted it a little bit thick too, just so that, you know, when you're sliding stuff in and out, and that's kind of why I also did the button cluster at the back, just so that, um, is that in your way, Pasha? It uh, will slide in and out easy. Or, you know, at the back with the button cluster so it has a little more strength. Jeez. See, I can't think. And talk at the same time. It just doesn't work. Unless I'm thinking about talking. <laughs> Alright. I'm 
And this is just an image that I had in my junk. Just make this into a pocket so I'm only gluing this these three sides over here. Agapasha. I need to figure out where I want it exactly first. Ugh, your nose, dude. I need your nose help. I'm gonna scoot it that way just um, a little bit because I'm gonna add that cluster on there. This paper behind here is just barely green. It's almost hard to tell the difference between the cream and the green there. All right, and then see, I thought this looked kind of cool back here, just as a another element. I've got a little thickness here, so a little thickness here will help counterbalance it. You can see all my stitches from my buttons. That'll help hold those in. So funny. This is all cut with pinking shears, so I'm just getting all that out. See, is it any wonder I ruined scissors? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to put in there. Oh, yes, I do. I did think of that. I forgot that I found something. I have this vintage postcard. It says best best wishes. Easy for me to say. And it was written on. And it is postmarked 1908. So I'm going to put that in there. Um, thank you for finding my chain with love, Lydia. <laughs> that's cute. That's going to go in there, so I want to make sure I can get it in there and out. It may end up being too small. Didn't I thought it would fit really well, but I'm worried that once this is dry, it's going to be super tight. I guess we'll find out when it's dry, because I don't want to mess it up right now, and I don't want to mess this up. So I will put that in in a minute. And then the back, I really don't have any idea. So I'm going to let you guys go. I know I'm going to use, oh, you know, another thing is I made this um, altered bobby pin like the one I did the other day. See, look at my fingers. They're just covered in glue and ink. And um, so it's a bobby pin in there, and it just opens like that. And then I just decorated the top. I did some stitching and, you know, fussy cut a butterfly and put it on there. And I thought that would be kind of fun on here as well. And then whoever receives this can, um, you know, take it off and put it wherever in any journal or whatever they want to do. But it kind of just snugs on there. And, yeah, so I'm not sure if that postcard's going to work in there. I might have to put that somewhere else. I could even just tuck it. It's just kind of fun. And put some, I'll make a card to go in there. I'm hoping it's not going to be too fat. It's a little bit fat, but I think I think it'll be all right. And then this will go in here. See, her dress wants to kind of get caught in sort of her wings. But I think that'll be all right. It's, uh, you know, it's just a tuck spot, so. And then I will be putting, like I said, I always put other ephemera and stuff like that in there. So, yeah, we're getting there. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I will see you again soon. If you made it to the end of this, you're a rock star. <laughs> we'll talk later. And if you like this, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thanks. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye now.